The many shades of limp. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving deep into the English language to explore the word limp. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it in various contexts. Let's get started. Limp can be used as a verb that describes a way of walking. When someone limps, they walk with difficulty, often due to an injury. It means one of the legs isn't functioning as it should, causing an uneven or halting walk. Example, after the soccer match, he started to limp because he twisted his ankle. When used as an adjective, limp describes something that lacks stiffness or firmness, something that is floppy or not rigid. Examples, one, the wilted lettuce looked limp and unappetizing. Two, after a long day, her hair lost its volume and became limp. There are also times when limp is used in phrases or idiomatic expressions. One common expression is limp to the finish. This means to barely manage to continue or complete something, often with a lot of effort. Example, after working all night, the team limped to the finish to get the project done on time. To expand your vocabulary, it's good to know words that mean something similar or opposite. Synonyms. For the verb, walking, hobble, shuffle. For the adjective, floppy, slack, flaccid. Antonyms. For the verb, walking, stride, march. For the adjective, floppy, rigid, stiff. And that wraps up our exploration of the word, limp. We've seen how it can describe both a way of walking and the quality of something not being firm. Remember, context is key to understanding the appropriate meaning. We hope this video shed some light on this versatile word. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.